moms usually hear about SIDS, but I don't think that they really understand the gravity of it and how frequent it is. Um, what most moms hear is that it's something that can happen, but it seems very like not a relevant topic to them. And it's not until someone has an infant that dies that they realize that it's real. My, my grandmother had mentioned it to me. Um, you and I was, you know, growing up, just, you know, different conversations, just, you know, um, as she asked me if I knew what it was and I told her no and she explained it, but that was about it. And then I'll, um, babysitting my cousins and stuff. Um, I, I believe one time it was lay the baby on their bellies and then another time was on the back. And then, so I always would double check with mom. Which way am I putting the baby to sleep, <laughs> you know? New mothers can make their baby's sleep space as safe as possible by being sure their baby is usually alone in a crib, unless you're feeding the baby. And when they're in that crib, it needs to be on a firm surface and void of any extra blankets or pillows or teddy bears or anything that will cause them to suffocate. Also being sure the room is not too warm and being aware of having the baby sleeping on their back. Babies on their back have a better chance of survival and a better chance of breathing while they're sleeping and not having SIDS occur. With my girls, I they slept close in bassinets. Um, I made the decision to breastfeed with all three of them, so them being close was very important to me. Um, so I think I was just hypersensitive to their breathing. Even now, I'll sit, I'll lay up and, and listen to them breathe the sleeping on the back, um, the swaddling, and keeping them within earshot. Mothers have an innate ability to keep their baby safe, and I would encourage them to not only take this information and utilize it every opportunity, every nap, every sleep, but to also listen to their own intuition and be sure that they're keeping their baby safe at all times.